Hello and welcome back to the Book, Business and Brand Building Summit. Here we are in day, what is it? Day six, day seven, we are just rocking and rolling. Um, my pleasure to be introducing you to so many powerful authors, entrepreneurs, and today is a very special day because we are joined by the CEO of Teachable, one of the fastest growing online course creation companies. And if you're not aware already, by the end of this presentation, you are gonna be so up to speed on how you can really use your book to build your business and brand through online courses, which of course can generate 10, 20 times the amount of revenue per than a book sale would, um, and deepen the learning experience with your readers, customers, and clients. So we've got him on the line with no further ado, let me introduce to you the founder of Teachable, Ankur Nagpal. Ankur, how you doing? Good, man, Jesse. I'm super, super excited to do this. Um, this is a really, really action-packed presentation. We're going to share everything we've learned over the years building Teachable because it's now been two full years. Uh, before we get started, I'd love to know kind of you know where people are tuning in from as I get my my slides going. Yeah. So while uh, Ankur's getting set up here, we're all sort of rushing around. The nature of live broadcast can always be um, a very fascinating experience. So if you're here joining us on this live presentation, make sure to log into the chat window and go ahead and let us know uh, where you're calling in from. And Ankur is just setting up his presentation. He's actually got a, uh, a complete presentation put together for us today to talk through how to use your book to really build your business and brand with online courses. So I know we've got uh, bills from Houston and an audience from uh, really all over the place joining us. And let me turn it back over to you, Ankur, when you're ready. And I'll be monitoring some chat. We've got Bonita Sweet. from Shreveport, Bill from Houston. Take it away. And I'm here if you need anything. Awesome. Sounds good, man. Thank you, Jesse. Thanks for this platform. The summit I've heard, guys, has been rocking it. So great job, Jesse. Today, we're going to bring it. Today's presentation is largely targeted towards writers, bloggers, and authors, how you can go about launching your first profitable online course, ideally in the next 30 days. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to first talk about the why, like why am I so excited about online courses as a writer, as a blogger, as an author, why should you be thinking about online courses and then dive right into the meat and potatoes. And what we've done here is we've broken it down into a seven step process that we believe anyone and everyone can apply to create their first profitable online course. So courses, right? Who's this for? This presentation for is an author, a blogger, a writer, someone that has written work or is wanting to produce written work and wants to refactor that into an online course, whether it's to make money, whether it's to grow your audience, whether it's to build your credibility. Ultimately, if you have considered blogging or writing a book, you are perfectly suited to creating an online course. So if you already, you know, if you already have a course or if you're getting started with a course, I'd love to know in chat, type it into chat. Let me know kind of where you are in this process. You're thinking about a course and you already have a course on Teachable. Type it into chat so I can accordingly tailor the presentation that way. So here's my big promise to you, right? In the next 60 minutes, you're going to learn how to create and launch your own online course. Now I am going to warn you, as you might be able to tell, I will be talking fast just because there's so much information. There's so much information I'm trying to condense and put inside this hour. So I'm going to be talking fast, but I know I think Jesse might make a replay available or something so people can, you know, catch up on what they missed, but there's a ton of stuff we need to cover and I'm giving you my everything. My only request is, you know, take some notes, pull out the workbook we've sent you and take some notes. Cause guys, like when you write this stuff down, this is not something where you're going to sit back and, you know, sit back and relax. We're going to get interactive. This is going to be a back and forth. This is going to be a discussion. We're going to work through this together. It's not going to me, be me just, you know, lecturing you on how you do this. So why online courses, right? Why am I so excited about online courses? Um, the first reason people, you know, really like online courses is you can make an extra thousand dollars on the side, or for some people even replace your entire full-time income with your online course. So I'd love to know in chat, you know, for most people here getting started with online courses, if you could type in A, B, C, D, or E in terms of what your monthly income goals are for your online course. So, you know, again, everyone would like to be at an E, but what amount of money would make it worth investing in? Would make this, you know, would make an online course worth spending your time, spending your effort? Just type that into chat, you know, so we can see. Jesse, for you, for you, what was the number that would, you know, kind of make this worth doing 
I found myself in C making like three to five thousand dollars a month with the online course, I felt like I really accomplished something and yep. uh, and felt like I was, you know, really starting to make a considerable income from teaching and, and training people online. Yep. Awesome. So no matter what what your income goals are, the great thing about courses, especially relative to books, is there's a real there's a much higher value and a much higher perceived value. The problem with books is people are willing to spend, you know, 10 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. If it's a college textbook, a little bit more. But for courses, we see people consistently spending hundreds of dollars, sometimes a thousand dollars for courses for similar information, just delivered differently. So that kind of so that that really, really changes the entire spectrum of how profitable building a course can be. Um, the third reason courses are great is it's very easy to take work you've already created, whether it's a book, whether it's a blog post, whether it's a case study, refactor that into an online course, right? You can already repurpose existing content and build an online course from it. Um, fourth reason courses are amazing is you can do the hard work up front. Like you put in all the effort up front and then your course becomes an asset. You do the work once and then you reap rewards for it for a long time. In fact, I'm still making sales from a course I had, you know, the first course I ever built over two years ago. The fifth reason courses are amazing is you get to become a mini celebrity in your space. You build a community of people, community of like-minded people around you, which guys, like for a lot of people, this is the thing you underestimate. Like everyone's like, oh, I'm going to build a course, you know, make some money. But the amount of impact you're capable of having, like we have, you know, instructors that have grown an audience of people that are just like them. Like for instance, we have a digital scrapbooking expert, Jessica Sprague, who when she started teaching courses, she didn't even know how big the market for digital Ankur, I think we might have lost your mic, so just go ahead and check if you're still uh, plugged in there. Let's double check your sound when you get a second. Ankur, do we still have you here? Yep. There he is. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you again. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, oh, good. What was the last part you got? Um, there, you had somebody who was doing digital scrapbooking, and yep. yep, awesome. So yeah, I was talking about Jessica Sprig. So she, when she started out teaching courses, she had no idea how big the market was for you know digital scrapbooking. But what she found is, you know, after she started having her course and getting students inside her course, it wasn't just the fact that she was able to make an income and you know ultimately make that her full-time job. What she found to be the most meaningful part of the experience is the community of other digital scrapbookers she found around her. She built a community of 80,000 people and that turned out to be the most rewarding, the most meaningful part of her entire business because now whenever she traveled anywhere, she had people in her community that she could meet up with. In fact, her community would fly out every year to her hometown in North Carolina to meet her for Sprig Fest you know, their own festival. So it's these kinds of meaningful relationships you form with online courses just by building this amazing community around you that you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Um, the sixth reason courses are amazing is especially relative to writing a book. Like, you know, it can take, as, as a lot of you in the audience know, it can take a year to write a book, but you can create a high quality online course in the next 30 days. Like in this presentation, we're gonna show you how you can get results from online courses, ideally in the next 30 days or less. And finally, the, re the last reason I really like online courses is you get to help a ton of people at the same time. Like the impact, like we have, you know, two teachers, John and Elliot from Bitfountain. They teach people iPhone programming. These two kids travel the world and were able to teach over 100,000 people. Like that's an unreal amount of people that without the power of online courses, being able to, you know, use the internet to reach an unlimited number of people, you couldn't have as big an impact. I mean, just a couple of days ago, I was doing, you know, a workshop with Pat Flynn where he's deciding to finally build a course. And for him, that's the reason, right? He's like, there's only so much I can do when I'm helping people one on one. But by building an online course, by building that platform, you get to help a ton of people at the same time. So 
you know, I'd love to know before we move forward of the last seven benefits, which, which, which one of these benefits is most important to you? Like, what is your why? Like, why, why do you want to do this? Like, what is the reason you're calling that's making online courses seem attractive to you? And, you know, until the responses come in, Jesse, I'd love if, you know, we heard from you. In, for me, it's the ability to, I mean, you, as you pointed out, uh, Ankur, being able to do the work once and then have it live on and be able to help people for months and years to come. I mean, you know, there's a couple training courses I had created uh, over two years ago now that people are still using and, and consuming and learning from. And actually, it's content I don't even really teach so much anymore. So it's kind of a fascinating thing that when you get to that point where you're really at the peak of your game and you create an online course, then it documents it and creates something for all time that can help and serve people and generate income for you on an ongoing basis. I think that's pretty appealing. Plus, you know, saving the time uh, and money from running an actual live event, which yep. is a costly affair. You have people flying in from all over the place. Being able to deliver a course from, well, online and wherever you may be in the world is also a big added benefit. Yep, absolutely. Um, the other thing I just wanted to make clear, guys, like under the video, um, especially on the website, there's a chat. So whenever we ask you guys for feedback, that's where we're looking for the feedback. Um, cool. So who am I? I am the founder of a company called Teachable. Teachable is a course hosting platform. We now have over 5,000 teachers that have taught close to 2 million students. And we've seen these teachers actually make over $15 million in course sales. Just this month, we'll probably see $3 million in course sales. And that's what this presentation is about. It's all these course launches we've seen, all the hard data we've crunched, interviewing instructors, solving their issues, just like seeing and understanding what's working, especially you know for people that were writers, authors, and bloggers. Like we've worked with so many writers, like you know Ryan Holiday, Charlie Hone. We also have Jesse Krieger, of course, who's you know put this together. Um, Joanna Penn, another great writer, near all like all of these people are writers and authors first that have decided to diversify their business by building online courses. And most of them have done it on Teachable. And you know, we've seen all of these people do it. Like with Charlie and Ryan, we helped them figure out online courses. We came, you know, we looked at all this data and we came to this one conclusion. There's one tried and true tested method that, you know, for building and launching an online course. And all of our successful teachers have used effectively the same seven step process. And that's the process I want to walk you guys through right now. So if you guys are ready, Jesse, are you ready? Are we, should we just jump into the seven steps? Let's do it. I think we're ready to rock and I'll be manning the chat here, having some interesting conversations with people saying they want to gain credibility and create a community through doing an online course. Bill is evaluating whether or not um, this is right for him as his focus is on poetry and novels. And uh, as you take us through it, I will keep a handle on what everybody's saying in the chat. So let's dive in. Sweet, let's do this. All right, cool. So step one is finding your most profitable course idea. All right, so the way I want to do, the way I want to find the most profitable course idea is I want to start off by dispelling a few very common myths. The first myth was something that, you know, one of our instructors, Angela Fair, came up to me when we were a very new company saying, hey, Encore, um, you know, like I, I want to start creating an online course. It's really important to me. But everyone I see with successful online courses, most of them are teaching, I don't know, programming, marketing, design. Some of them are even teaching courses on selling courses. Can I, as an artist, as a painter, actually make money selling online courses? So at the time we're a new company, you know, I was like, Angela, why don't you just put your course up there? You have an audience and see what happens. And in her first month, Angela ended up making over $2,000 in course sales, eventually scaling up to $8,000 a month selling watercolor painting. And after Angela, we just realized like, that is not an aberration. We saw people again and again and again coming up with the most random topics, whether it's card magic, digital scrapbooking, cartooning, music, whatever it is, building profitable online courses with that. In fact, just a few weeks ago, this is funny, I saw someone making a good amount of money on their first course launch on blacksmithing. Like his course was called Intermediate Blacksmithing and he had a successful course. So first thing I want to do is dispel the myth that you know you can only have a profitable course in that genre. So how do we actually come up with you know the content for people that are authors? What we can do is you know the first way of finding your profitable course idea is if you already have a book that you know can become a good course like it has a very clear outcome defined 
like David Cadavy is a great example. He has a book called Designed for Hackers. He used the book, he used the same content of the book to build his online course. For people that are bloggers, Caitlin Batcher transformed her blog post about Instagram to a course about Instagram. So if you already have content, that's the first place I'd look at. I'd make a list of all the different places you have created content, whether it's a book you've written, blog posts you have, whatever content you already have, or in Jesse's case, the summit, whatever content you already have, write that down on a piece of paper as we brainstorm this to see whether it would make a good you know, online course topic. But what about if you're starting from scratch? What if you don't you know, have that content? In that case, what I want you guys to do is I want you to make a list of all potential topics you can think of. Like what, you know, what do people ask your advice on? What are you passionate about? What are you maybe not that good at, but what are you interested in? And finally, what have you done? What jobs have you had? What hard skills do you have? What hobbies do you spend you know, your time on? And write all these topics down inside your workbook. Like write them down. And you know, while you're working on that, I'm gonna dispel another very common myth I hear. And you know, in chat, you can let me know if you know you ever feel this way. But this myth goes a little bit like this. Goes a little bit like, look, you know, Encore, I want to build an online course. I'm passionate about it. I can already visualize how cool it would be to have a course with my name on it. But I have this nagging doubt. I have this fear inside me that who am I? to teach an online course. Like why would someone want to pay me for my knowledge, for my information when I'm not enough of an expert? It's almost like, you know, this imposter syndrome nagging inside you. Do any of you guys, you know, feel like that? Do any of you feel like, you know, you want to build a course, but that's the one thing holding you back? Well, on court, I'll just say that uh, I know from talking to authors and hearing from hundreds of people on the summit so far that that, that exact thing you just put your, your finger on there is the number one Thing that prevents people from writing a book that yep. asking who am i to and yep. uh, and i think the same holds true for courses so you know yep. that definitely resonates with this audience yep and that you know personally drives me crazy because i hear that more than anything when i'm out there talking to people trying to get more people to teach courses but i finally found a way to completely reframe your thinking about this and here's how we do it so what we found when we looked at the data of what makes a compelling online course we found that students do not want to learn from the most famous expert necessarily. What students want, who they want to learn from, is someone that's one or two steps ahead of them. So I'll give you a tangible example. The guys from Bitfountain, they taught 100,000 people how to make iPhone apps. They ended up making $2 million selling courses on building iPhone apps. You would imagine, you know, John and Elliot, these guys must be like professional programmers. Maybe they work for like, Apple or something. No, they've never had a job as a programmer in their life. You would think, fine, maybe they learned how to code in university and are very good at that, have a computer science degree. Nope, they have no training or qualification in computer science. So what is it that made them succeed? The answer is John and Elliot, by virtue of being, frankly, you know, not good developers, people that struggled to learn how to code for many, many years, looking at all the free information out there until they figured it out, that made them better teachers because their audience could connect with them. Their audience was like, okay, I want to learn from these guys because they are like me. They tried to learn. They failed before. Their guidance can help me get past that step. And guys, that is the most, most, most important thing. It is being one step, two steps ahead of someone because that's what's going to make you the most compelling teacher. No one cares if you're, you know, a massive expert. What they care is, is this person that little bit better than me? And that's all that really matters when it comes to building an online course. Being more similar to your audience by not being that much of an expert is a strength, not a weakness. And whenever you feel that nagging fear inside that, remember my voice trying to reframe that, reframe that entirely. Take that doubt and toss it away because it does not matter. So if that doesn't matter, what matters? And this is what we call the butterfly effect. It is, you know, look at that picture. Look at how a caterpillar becomes a beautiful butterfly. That's what I want you to think of your course as doing. Your course should be a transformation that takes the caterpillar to the butterfly or whatever, the, whatever it is. You know, your course idea is only as valuable as, as what the inherent transformation is for the student. What is the outcome a student's going to get? 
that is your course idea. If you don't have a transformation, if you don't have an outcome, you don't have a course guys. You just have a collection of random videos and no one wants to watch that. The course is the outcome. Think about a fitness commercial, right? There's a before picture and an after picture. No one, when people buy a course, they're buying the after picture. No one wants to buy a course. They want to buy an outcome. So what I want you to do is in your workbook next to each topic you have listed or next to each blog post or book, I want you to explicitly identify what the outcome is. So Charlie's a great example, right? His book was called the recession proof graduate. It's a great book, really enjoyed it. But when he converted it to an online course, he defined the outcome explicitly. It became how to land a job you love. Jessica Sprigg, learn how to create digital scrapbooks in 30 days. Tommy Griffith, 10 extra traffic from Google. There's a very clear defined transformation, defined outcome here that makes a good course idea. So in your workbook for every single topic, I want you to write down near the subject, what is the outcome people are gonna get? Because guys, that is what your course comes down to. It is the transformation, it is the outcome. That is the one and only thing that matters. Now. You know, we're, I know this area is taking a while. After this, we'll breeze past it. But I'd love to know how many of you feel like the more information you can teach in your online course, the more valuable it is. Like the more videos, the more packed, like, you know, hours of content. That's what makes a great course. How many of you feel that way? Type it into chat. Because if you say yes, nothing will make me happier than looking at you in the face and saying, nope, you are wrong. After looking through, again, all the data, we learned that people don't care about having a mass amount of information. No one wants to see things they don't need to. Your job as an online course is to be a shortcut to an outcome, to take people to an outcome as fast as possible. There's so much free crap on the internet. Like if people want to waste hours of their life to get to what the outcome is, they can do that. The reason they pay you money is to take them to the transformation, take them to the outcome, take them to the after picture faster. And if your course is going to be a shortcut to an outcome, what's the point of filling it with more content than is absolutely necessary? My boy, Bill knows what's up. He says more concise info. That's it guys. You've got to take people to the outcome as fast as possible. That is what's going to make a compelling course idea. So to fully, fully recap one last time, you know, what content do you guys already have? What do you already have? You know, blog posts, video series, whatever it is. Think about if you can refactor that content into you know into a course idea or if you don't have that write down topics you're passionate about skills you have things you've done things you know and then based on both those topic areas figure out what outcomes what transformations can you provide and then draw a circle around the most impactful transformation because ladies and gentlemen that that is your most profitable course idea so with that said step one done easy right crushing it now let's go to step two which is setting your income goals for your course using our formula. So the easiest way to launch a course guys is to build an email list. Most of you already know this. You've probably heard this over and over in the summit. But what you got to do is build an email list of people that care about your topic. And then we're going to launch our course to that list. But what we're going to do here, what we're going to do here is we're going to do the work up front and figure out building a list is great but how big a list do we build? Do you guys have any semblance of how many people you need on your list? Well, we're gonna work through it right now using our magic formula. So the magic formula looks like this, right? It's like uh, the amount of revenue we wanna make from the course is a factor of how many subscribers are on our list, what is the conversion rate of people from the list that become buyers multiplied by the price for your course. So when we have our list of people, it becomes super, super easy to launch a course to them and the good news is, you know, whatever that number is, we can go there quickly within 10 days, 14 days, if we know what the right things are to do. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that in a second. But for now, let's figure out how many subscribers we need. So again, let's look at this formula. Let's see what we can do. We can make the assumption the course is priced at, you know, let's say the course is going to be priced at $300 and the conversion rate is 2%. And here's what I want you to do. When you're plugging in this math, make the assumption your conversion rate is 2% because that's a safe, safe number. That's a very safe conversion rate. We've seen people do better, but for now, let's just take 2% as our conversion rate and fill in the number here, right? So say we wanna make $5,000 at a 2% conversion rate and a $300 price point. That means we only need 850 email subscribers. 
So plug in your numbers, guys. Remember, you I asked you how much you want to make. Plug in that number. Plug in 2%. Plug in the price of your course. And I'll talk later about pricing and why I recommend you know everyone charges at least a couple hundred dollars. And then do the math. So to make $5,000, all I have to do is sell 17 copies. That is such an approachable number. Every one of us can sell, you know, 17 copies. Like it's not, it's not super hard. And because all we need to do with a 2% conversion rate is add 850 email subscribers, right? We can do it 850 email subscribers. We can probably do this in a couple of weeks. And that's where step three comes in, where I'm going to show you how you can grow your course audience and email list with our playbook. So how do you create your initial email list? Um, Jesse, tell me if you disagree, but every single person in the world that has built an email list has done it this way. And that is by giving away free value, something that's, you know, valuable free content in exchange for an email address. Every single person on the internet has built an email list this way. Jesse, isn't this how you've built your email list? I mean, yeah, that's exactly it. And, uh, whether it's giving away free video training series that I've created, or in the case of the summit, you know, we're giving away free access during the course of this 10 day event. And, uh, you know, you said if you only have 850 people, then you can make thousands of dollars from an online course. You know, in the last week and a half, we've gotten over 6,400 people registered and going through these different trainings. So it doesn't have to take a half of a lifetime to get up to that number where you're at a critical mass so you can start actually making an impact and an income from your training course or whatever it is that you're offering. Yep. Um, sweet. So guys, and you know, as Jesse said, he's built 6,400 people in his email list for the summit. The thing is the theory is the same, right? You give away free value in exchange for an email address. There's actually so many different strategies you can use that apply the same principle. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you four strategies real quick, but there's so many other strategies. And at the end of the workshop, I'll show you where you can get some of the other ones as well. So the, the first strategy for those of you that have a book is give away a chapter for free. Like this has been used over and over again. Traction book, he used this a bunch. What you know, Mark Dawson, another author did is he has many different books. He just gave away a book for free in return for an email address. So if you've already given, if you already have a book, like give it away, think about giving it away for free. If you can't give it away free, give a chapter or two away for free in return for an email address. Super quick, super easy. Um, the second way of growing an email list is a giveaway. Like we run this a bunch at Teachable. What we do is we find a list of tools and software and books that appeal to an audience like ours, because it's very, very important. What you put inside the giveaway is going to determine the kind of people that join your list. So think about what the people you want on your list would like, create a giveaway with that, and then send the giveaway out to your list saying, Hey guys, you know, enter with your email address in the giveaway to have a chance to win this. But the trick is after people enter their email address, it actually says, Hey, you know, cool. You joined the giveaway. You have one entry. If you want a bonus three entries or a bonus five entries, here's your magic link. And when you post and share this magic link with other people and they join, you get, you know, five bonus entries. So what works really well with this is when you put people into this flow, you put people inside this funnel, they share your link for you. They're the ones that keep sending it out. Keep, you know, putting it on Facebook groups, sending it to their email list. Every time we run this, we get a really nice bump in number of email addresses. Super easy to run. I would recommend using two different tools, either King Sumo giveaways or gleam.io. There's probably more. These are the ones we've used, but a giveaway can be really, really effective in order to get, you know, people on your email list. The third method is probably similar to what we're doing now, which is a webinar. Simply, you know, host a live workshop, add a ton of value inside the workshop. So people attending the workshop feel good about it. But because you're giving away this live workshop for free, you know, you're starting to collect email addresses. Sometimes you can partner with other people and do it to their audience and then collect their email addresses as well. Or you can do it the way Jesse is doing it right now, where why do one workshop when you can do a whole series of them, but again, in return for an email address, right? Like that's the trend with every single part here. And finally, the fourth method, and this is the one I like the most just because it's easiest. You don't have to worry about other technology outside of choosing teachable is when you have a full course, like say how to plan a trip to Italy, you can just take one module from that course, one single module from that course, break it up into its own course, 
put it on Teachable, like there's no cost to free courses, and give that course away for free. Because when you do that, you'll find that you know it's much easier to put sometimes hundreds of students, thousands of students in your free mini course. You start building a great audience. You get a chance to deliver a ton of value and building a relationship with them. Like if they like your mini course, like they're gonna one, you know they're interested in your main course because it's on the same topic. Two, they'll feel like, wow, Encore, dude, you brought it, man. Like, you know, I love your stuff. I can't wait to see what else you have there. And best of all, I can use their feedback for testimonials, right? If someone's like, Encore, I love your course on how to book a flight to Italy. I can't wait to go there with my girlfriend. When I have my main course, you sure as hell are gonna put that testimonial in there, even though the testimonial is derived from the mini course. So it's super, super cool. I highly recommend it. Some of our best and biggest you know, instructors have used this. In fact, if you have a funnel like Angela did, where what Angela was doing is she was taking people from her YouTube video to her paid course. I was like, Angela, you gotta put in a mini course in between. So you're collecting email addresses from people not willing to buy. And that one simple, simple change one simple change ended up quadrupling her income and helped her build her email list. So whenever she had a new course, she could launch to them. Does that make you know? Does that make sense, guys? Like, I'd love to know in chat, like which ones you're looking to apply. Like, which of these ideas apply to you? I want to hear from more people too, not just Bill. Like, I want you all to type in a chat, like you know, what you're thinking. Like, which one of these you think you can do? Because guys, like. We're giving you all of this good stuff here. This is the same strategies used by a ton of people to grow their email list. And you know, as I said, these are four strategies. We actually have 17. I can show you where to get the other 13 at the end of the workshop. And let me just jump in quickly and say, because there's a lot more people watching this broadcast than in the chat. So you can click the button in the top right corner of the chat and separate that chat from the video if you don't want to scroll up and down between the video and the chat. And make sure to log into the chat so you can communicate with us, ask um, Encore questions and feedback throughout this presentation. Yep, absolutely. Guys, so you know what you, what we've done here is we're what I want you to do with this whole list building thing is we'll build this list in a 10 to 14 day period. After that, you're gonna have your list. And in step seven, I'm gonna show you how you can actually launch your course to this list. We're gonna give you a course marketing calendar you can use to launch your course to these people. It's going to be Awesome. So with that said, step four, pricing. I love pricing. This is my favorite topic to talk about. Jesse, question for you. How much are people willing to pay for the average nonfiction book? And how long does it normally take typically for people to get a book to the market? I mean, realistically, it's going to take anywhere from three to six months to create a nonfiction book. And depending on which publishing option you take, you can make anywhere from a dollar to dollar <laughs> fifty traditional publishing or, you know, six, seven dollars a book. Um, but in either case, you know, with books, the price to value ratio is pretty skewed in favor of delivering value instead of uh, making a ton of money from book sales themselves. Yep, absolutely. And that makes complete sense. With courses, guys, it's all different because courses are different. People are willing to pay hundreds of dollars for a course. And in fact, that's what our data has shown. The most successful online courses are several hundred dollars. and what we see is when people are starting out with selling courses, they're actually very bad at charging their fair share. Like all of us in our mind, we feel like, you know, is my information really worth it? And, you know, kind of conquering those inner doubts. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to listen to me, take my word on good authority. Cause as I said, we have the data and what I want you to do is consider using premium pricing. I want you to think of your course. You know how Apple laptops, or a premium product, an iPhone is a premium product. I want your course to be the iPhone of courses. I want you to compete on value and quality and not on price. We call this the Rolls Royce effect. But the reason I'm telling you this is not just because, you know, I want you to be greedy for more money. It's because the data shows the most successful instructors on Teachable, the average price of their course is $272. Most people here that they're thinking of charging less. So I want you guys to fight to charge more money. And it's really, really important because, you know, obviously it's easier to hit our income goals, but the thing that's most surprising, most surprising, at least to me is my students get better results. Like your students will do better just by paying more money, by paying more money, your students will give you more respect. 
They'll give your course more respect. They're more likely to watch even one lecture. They're much more likely to complete the course. They're less likely to ask for a refund and they're more likely to and they report a higher satisfaction rating just by paying more money for the same course. Isn't that mind blowing? Like the same course, you charge more money, your students have better experiences. And to say nothing of the fact that, you know, your students are more fun to work with because they care about being there. If someone has made a sacrifice to take this course, they're sure as hell going to show up on time, be respectful of your time and, you know, just have better outcomes by charging more money. And of course, of course, you know, the math is math is a lot better, right? At a thousand dollars a month, hundred bucks, you only have to make 10 sales. hundred dollars is not that much. 10 sales, so doable. $500, two sales. It is incredibly, incredibly doable. And, you know, if you want to make $5,000 a month, for instance, you would have to sell 250 books. And if you had a publisher, you'd have to sell, you know, close to 2000 books to make 5,000 a month. But with courses, that's less than two sales per day at a hundred dollar price point. And at 500 bucks, you have to make 10 sales in a month. The math becomes so much easier, so much more, so much more, everything becomes a hundred times easier. And you finally have the chance to work closely with people to help them achieve these results. So I see a question about, you know, breaking a course into payment plans and stuff. Drea, you know what? Just let us get through the presentation. And in Q&A, I'm going to answer all those questions. For now, we're just going to, you know, keep going through the seven steps. Then we'll have, you know, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes for Q&A. And I'll be happy to get into those, you know, questions. So sweet. Pricing does. So what, what, let's recap what we've done so far, right? Found our most profitable course idea. We've set our income goals. We've built our audience. We've built our email list. They're excited. You know, you know, they're getting, they're starting to get excited, feel the energy. And we've figured out how we're going to price our course. What do we do next? Let's handle the technology. Cause a lot of people always think about, you know, think about the technology, worry about the technology, aren't sure what to do in the technical side of things. We're going to handle that right now. So, there's five things you need when you decide to put your course online. And these are things that I want and I just would not compromise on. The first thing is I want my site to be absolutely beautiful. And I want to be able to create it in less than an hour, even without technical expertise. Life is too short for ugly design. If this is my brand guys, I want this to look good. And I want to be able to do it without, you know, spending hours of my life setting things up. I think, you know, where the internet is, that's a fair expectation to have out of my course hosting platform. Um, the second thing I want is I want to be able to have my domain name on my course. I want it to be myname.com, my name up top. This is my brand. Like that's what's important. I don't want it to be udemy.com slash something slash something. And the third thing is I want my course website to be mobile optimized. I want it to look great on every device. And again, it's, it's 2016 guys. These are table stakes. People should be able to buy on mobile, watch on mobile. It should just work. The fourth thing I want is I want total control over my student data and emails. If I'm building this business, if I'm putting my heart and soul into this, the least I expect is being able to own email addresses so I can actually build a viable business versus the marketplace where, you know, you just put a bunch of stuff up and literally you don't get a single email address, you know, you're not building a business there. The only way to build a business is to build your email list. So I want to be able to do that. And finally, I want to be able to accept payments on day one. Like if I wanted to make money selling a course today, I want to be able to do that. I want to, you know, I don't want to have someone have to approve me and tell me my course needs X amount of video or my course can't cost more than $50 or I need a merchant account or anything. No, I want to be able to go ready, charge money today if I want to. And for a lot of you, this, you know, this is not, this is not news. This is not really a secret, but you can get all of this stuff in, you know, a couple of minutes on teachable.com. Everything is super simple. You have one button to customize the design, branding, all of that stuff. One button to change your domain name, upload your content, set a price, and you can go you can be live right now. You can be live today. In fact, we recently, as I said, you know, we did a version of this webinar on Thursday and what was amazing is later that evening, later that evening, someone followed these instructions and got their first sale right away. So you can literally take what I'm about to show you right now 
and get your first sale today. And that's what I'm going to do right now. You know, like that's actually, that's what Joanna, that's what Joanna Penn said, you know, she liked about Teachable is, you know, she decided for a course, she doesn't want to be a technical person. She doesn't want to be, you know, she doesn't want to deal with plugins. She, all she wants to do is teach people. She wants to write, she wants to create content. She doesn't want to have to deal with the technology and that's why she used Teachable. So here's, here's what I'm going to do now, right? As I said, someone used teachable and after a workshop like this to get a sale in the same day, what I'm going to do now is walk you through how, if you wanted to use this information and make your first sale today, how you can do that right now. So again, as I said, this is interactive. So, you know, listen along carefully because you can start applying this right now. So what we're going to do now is create our course sales page, which is effectively like the cover of your book, because what you're doing is you're convincing a potential student to buy the course. Now, the beauty with a course compared to a book is a course is a living product, which means you can actually create the sales page before you create the content and tell people it's a pre-sale and you know, you're gonna develop the content after they buy. So what that means is you can actually go home later today, or you know, you're probably at home, later today, work towards creating your sales page and have your first student buy the course today before your course is even ready. So what do we need on our sales page, right? It's like a cover of a book. What's important. What we need is of course, you know, a headline and a sub headline, super important. Talk about the transformation. Very easy. I have no doubt you got this. The third thing that's really important is a promo video. Sorry. Second thing it's a promo video because again, if those of you are familiar with Kickstarter, when you're convincing people to buy something before it's built, having a single video, two to three minutes where you tell them what it is, ideally have your face up there. It gives them the chance to, you know, get to know you, get to trust you and decide to invest in this course. Underneath that, of course, you know, you have your bio, who are you? Why should I trust you? Why should I buy the course from you? Again, super simple, not hard to do at all. Underneath that is, you know, your course description, which is where you convince people what the transformation is. Remember transformation, what is the transformation? What is the outcome? Describe to them specifically how you're going to take them to the outcome. And that is going to be a course description. The fifth thing, and this is the most, most important part of your sales page to the degree that we actually ended up building, you know, an easy way to build this in. Cause we realized the easiest way to improve the conversion of a sales page. And again, like the back of a book, is testimonials, social proof from people that have ideally taken the course, if not taken the course, maybe social proof about you and your competence or, you know, someone you worked with or consulted with telling other people why to trust you, why to trust this course. And it was so important that we just realized that whenever you put this on any page, it improved the conversion rate right away. So we actually made it so easy on Teachable where you can just upload an image and write a quote and insert a really nice looking testimonial inside there right away. And finally, the most, not the most, the second most important part, and this is the easiest way to increase, not the conversion rate, but the average conversion amount. What is the average amount someone pays for the course? And that is, you know, whatever price your course is, consider adding two more pricing tiers that are higher in value. So I'll give you an example. If you're thinking of having a course for $199, what I would do is use our a multiple pricing plan feature and add two other pricing plans, one for maybe $499 and one for $999. Maybe the $499 version says, hey, you have the course plus a two hour Skype consultation. And the $999 says, hey, maybe you have the course and an in-person meeting and a two hour Skype consultation or whatever. And this is really important for many reasons because one is it makes just the course look really cheap. It's like, oh, this is only $199 when the other prices are like 500 and a thousand. And moreover, you'll have some people that buy the higher priced version, raising your average conversion amount. Cause if you only have one price. The average conversion amount is 199. You have multiple prices. Someone's going to buy the more expensive ones. The average conversion amount might be 250, $300 leading to a lot more money for very little upfront work. So highly, highly recommend, you know, you do all this, but the reason, the reason this is exciting guys is you can do all of this on teachable in minutes. 
because on Teachable, you have a fill in the blank template where you answer all of these questions. You just type in quotes, testimonials, upload a couple of sexy images, and you're good to go. You have a beautiful sales page ready. A sales page that's actually been tested, battle tested. You know, as I said, $3 million in course sales this month on these sales pages that have been tested by everyone to convert really well. You have this link, you have your book cover, you can start promoting it and be ready to sell your first course just like that. Pretty snazzy, right? Like we're through the first five steps, we have our technology figured out. Guys, we're getting to the finish line, but what's cool is we've done five out of seven steps and we haven't even talked about recording your course. And that's not a coincidence. I want you to do all of this work before you record your course because there is nothing worse than recording a beautiful big course and then realizing that no one wants to buy it. This way we've done all the work, we've validated it, we've built our email list, we've got our idea. Now guys, recording, come on, that's the easy stuff. So the good news, right? Recording, now that we've done all the hard work, it's easy. How do we do it? Simple, remember our transformation, our outcome? Take that outcome and think about what the logical list of steps are someone needs to go through to get to the outcome. Whatever each step is, right? Whatever each step is, each step in your outline becomes what we inside Teachable call a module. And under each module, you fill in shorter video-based lectures. That's all there is to it. So imagine your outline, your course transformation is how do I get a job? Your outline is going to be a list of steps. So step one could be like preparing a resume. Step two could be, you know, putting your resume in job sites. And under each step, so step one, say preparing your resume, you'll have shorter video-based lectures on how do you actually prepare a resume. That's all that it is. These video-based lectures are simple. Just use PowerPoint or Keynote, create slides just like these, and create a presentation recording your voice talking over it. Simple. If you're teaching something technical, maybe you can just record your screen directly. For your first course, I wouldn't complicate it any further than that, guys. Like I literally wouldn't make it any more complicated than that. A lot of people try and make this stuff harder than it should be. Like a lot of people here get concerned about things that don't matter. Like, you know, we have people that keep re-recording their content over and over and over again because they think it's not good enough. Or we have people thinking their slides aren't good enough. Or we have people that want to put their face on camera but aren't comfortable putting their face on camera, so do nothing about it. The most important step here, because a lot of people stumble here, the most important thing to do here is guys, it's simple, get it done. Set a tough, strong deadline. Do the best you can by then and then get it out there because your course, believe it or not, is not going to get any better sitting on your hard drive. Your course is not gonna get better with you recording it again and again. You wanna know how your course gets better? It's when a student pays for it, a paying student goes through it and gives you feedback. That is the only way your course can get better with actual real life feedback. So take my advice here. Don't stress about this. Create your outline, shorter video-based lectures, done. Get it out there, get it in the hands of students because the transformation is the only thing that really matters. So if you wanna get, you know, the fun part about online courses is, you know, of course, most of them will be based on video lectures, but you can have fun with the content because why not, right? Like it's an online course, it's a living product. On Teachable, you can have a discussion forum inside your course. You can have self-grading quizzes inside your course as well. You can add on in interviews with experts, cheat sheets, toolkits, supporting materials, whatever the hell it is you want, you can put it up there because guess what? This is a living product. You can always make it better. And you know, it's the internet. You can embed anything you want. You wanna put a slide share, go for it. You wanna put interactive exercises, go for it. Have fun. The crux of the matter though is outline, sections, smaller video-based lectures, record it, get it done. Does not have to be expensive. It does not have to be complicated. If you want to put talk, you know, yourself in the video, talking at video, in, our, in one of our courses that I'll show you how you can get afterwards, we even recommend a studio setup that you know costs just $56. So with that said, you know, we're it's 250 and we're getting ready for the fun stuff, which is launching our course. If you guys are ready, if you guys are excited to launch your course, what I want you to do is type me into chat or type that I'm excited, 
I'm ready. I want to hear some energy because guys, we're almost at the end of the presentation and we're about to get to the fun stuff where we're launching our course because now, you know what? Remember in step three, we built our email list. We've built our fans over the next 10 to 14, over the first 10 to 14 day period. Guess what, baby? We're now launching to these raving fans. We're going to give them what they want. Give the people what they want and that's what we're going to do because what they want, guys, that's our course. And we're going to give you a simple but effective launch calendar right now because I don't know a lot of people will a lot of people give you very high level guidelines and an overview I'm gonna do the opposite I'm gonna be specific very very specific and tell you exactly what to do and actually what I'm gonna tell you to do is steal it take what I'm telling you and copy this exactly because trust me I have tested this We've all tested this. This gets results. So remember, we built an email list over one to two week period. Now we're launching to them. And you know, for your first launch, you can keep things smaller. You know, you don't have to feel the pressure of having a fifty thousand dollar launch. It's okay to aim to have a ten thousand dollar launch up front because you know, like anything else, you will get better. So first phase, remember, we're putting out content, putting out blog posts, building a list, giving free content, making our list feel good because whenever we create free content, send that to the list just to make them feel good. Because at the end of this, people are gonna know you can help them. They're go you're going to have built up demand for your course. They want your course at this point. And they trust you. You've earned their trust at this point. So at this point, you'll have you know 500 people, 1,000 people, whatever it is, where some percentage of people really, really want your course. They now are ready to you know buy your course. And that's when, baby, you throw the eight-day launch phase at them. We actually call this the crazy at launch internally at Teachable because we have found the perfect eight emails to send to convert people to your launch. So a lot of people are going to hear this and be like, wow, you want me to send eight different emails? Are you, are you serious? I am, again, because we've tested it. If it seems like a lot of email, what you can do and what we recommend is at the start of every email, say, hey, you know, this is an email about my course. If you're not interested in hearing about my course again, hit this button, you'll never hear again. Because that way, a lot of people, you know, who don't want to get this information will opt out. But the people that do want it will hear about it. Because like this much email actually does help when it comes time to sell a course. If you have a larger list, what you can do is create a smaller list of people to send all these emails to by saying, hey guys, if you're interested in hearing about my course, click this link and I'll add you to a smaller list where I send out, you know, these eight emails. So what eight emails are they? This is the crazy eight launch. And what I want you to do now is, you know, I'll show you, I'll give you more resources on this after, but for now, just take a screenshot or something. Cause guys, this right now, maybe you don't realize it, but this, these eight emails, this is money. Like I'm just telling you exactly what eight emails you need. This is money. Remember this, take a screenshot. This is like free information. That's amazing. Day one is a course teaser. You're just going to mention you're going to launch a course. Day two, I want you to break down what is inside the course, step by step, specifically. What's in every section? What's in every module? If there are bonuses, what's in the bonus? Like, tell me everything. Day three is when we ring the cash register because that is the day we say the course is open for enrollment, guys. Let's go get it. Day four is we say, is this course right for me? Right? Like, what potential objections do people have so we can blast through them? Day five is generally when we add a surprise bonus saying, okay, you know, you thought the course had all of this, guess what? Here's another amazing thing included in the course, but you know, it's closing in three days. Cause remember that's the point here. The point here is to launch a course for a limited period of time, because that's the only way people are going to decide to commit to your course. Day six is thank you and social proof where I want, what I want you to do here is put in testimonials from people that have bought in the first five days and have started to go through the content and hopefully are, you know, like, holy wow, this has blown my mind. I can't believe how good this course is. Day seven is the logical argument, which is like, which generally goes along the lines of, you know, like, hey, if you implement what's in my course, you know, you'll probably be able to make $20,000 more to your job. And what is a course cost? $299. You can make an ROI with that, you know, in one day, and if it's not right for you, you know, you can get a refund anyway. So day seven is like, here's the logical argument for why buying the course makes sense. And day eight is where most of the sales come in, which is, you know, enrollment is closing guys. Last call enrollment is closing. This is it's now or never. And, you know, after day eight, the course is 
done. And I know a lot of people are hesitant about launching a course for a limited period of time, but our experience shows us that's the only way to do, you know, to build, have a profitable course launch. So we actually had someone recently posting in our Facebook group who ran the crazy eight launch. And this was absurd. Like, I wish I could say everyone that runs the crazy eight launch, is going to convert like this, but he sent these exact emails, these exact emails, except what he did is he sent three different cart closing emails while, you know, we say send one to two, he sent three instead of that. And those are his numbers out of 1447 people on his list. He had 244 buy. That is bizarre. Remember when I said 2% of people will buy? He got like 15. That is absurd. And, you know, it made me happy because it was validation of the crazy eight. But that's how well this stuff works. That's all I want you to do, right? Like, I want you to just follow this stuff. Like, money will come in spurts. You'll make a bunch of money up front. They'll kind of slow down. You do a webinar in between. You'll make a little bit more money. And at the very end is when you can make anywhere from 30 to 50% of the entire launch on the last day. So, you know, as I said, guys, just follow this, right? CS Lakin, you know, launched her first course, made $8,000 in the first 10 days following this exact process. Alan Perlman also posted in our Facebook group saying, speechless, did a soft launch to the email list, then 72 hours made $6,000 in sales. You know, Fiona had the same thing, two weeks periscoping free work workshop, follow this process, launch the course, whatever it is, guys, the most important thing for you to do now is to take action, take action. You've stuck around this presentation for a full hour. We've done it, right? We've been through all seven steps. Like the most important thing now, guys, is I want you all to take action, to feel like you can do this too. Right, like Jesse, are, do you feel like you? How do you feel, Jesse? Do you feel do you feel pumped up? Yeah, uh, I'm I'm loving this. I was actually just taking a moment after all the chat and everything to just sit back and actually watch your presentation. I grabbed a screenshot of that eight day launch. I'll share that into our our VIP group. I mean, it's, you covered so much valuable information here that uh, you know I know people are, are writing me even privately saying I can, I'm so thankful there's a replay. Because yep. you're blowing through, you know, valuable point after teaching point. So uh, yeah, I'm pumped up too. Thanks, man. That's awesome. Um, yeah, as I said, we're in relatively good time, guys. We're gonna do probably ten minutes of Q and A after, but before that, you know, Jesse has teamed up with us, and we've come up with something really special for everyone on this call today, who feels excited. Like you feel excited, you feel ready, you feel like you can do this you're still a little bit overwhelmed. You still feel like, you know, you've gotten as much as you can in an hour. Cause you know, this is a, not going to lie. This is a rapid fire hour. So much happened in the last hour, but if you feel like you've gotten, you know, the grips of it, but still a little bit overwhelmed, we have something really, really special for you, which is a bundle created with, with, you know, the, with Jesse and his awesome team. And what this bundle comprises is a proven plan from people to follow from people who have done it before along with a way to create an amazing online school, right? Cause to succeed with online courses, you need two things, the technology and the training, the technology helps you figure it out. The training is really, really useful because that will save you so much time just being able to follow what's happened before. And that's why guys, we have this special course creation bundle that is live for you today for if you for when you upgrade to a teachable monthly plan so when you decide to upgrade to a paid teachable plan we're going to give you the training completely free this is an insane offer you upgrade to a monthly plan at the same price you already would pay just for the software and you're going to get all the training for free so here's how it works right if you upgrade the teachable professional plan which is you know 99 dollars a month you get the ability to have your own branded beautiful website with unlimited courses, unlimited students, unlimited video hosting. It's entirely your look and feel, your own domain name. You know, you plug in your own bank account and PayPal account and get your money instantly. There are no transaction fees of any kind at all. You have drip content, so the ability to drip your content out. They're like This is everything. This is what all of our superstar teachers use. It's $99 a month. And when you upgrade to the $99 a month Teachable Professional Plan, you're going to get all of the training we have 
completely for free. So you're going to get training from Jeff Goins, who you might have heard from, who talks about how to get how to get 10,000 fans, quit your job, and make $100,000 in 18 months. He talks about blogging, building a tribe of fans and following. You get a training from Melissa Griffin on how do you grow your email list to have your most profitable course launch ever. You're going to get training from Tucker Max, the New York Times, three times New York Times bestseller on the five best ways to monetize your book. And he talks about how you can use courses as well. Training from Mariah Cause and how do you actually pre-sale? How do you build a pre-launch email list? Training from Nick Stevenson. I don't know if you guys know Nick Stevenson, fiction author who became a course creator that takes you behind his story. How did he go from you know an Amazon fiction author to having a $1.2 million course launch? Training from Naveed on how he connected with influencers and partners to build affiliate relationships. You're going to have all of this stuff, including, you know, on-demand recordings for some of our panels featuring panelists like, you know, Paul Jarvis and Pat Flynn and James Altucher and Laura Roeder. All of this stuff, you know, included all of this training included just when you upgrade to a monthly plan. Now, if the training wasn't enough, we're also adding two one-on-one -on -one onboarding sessions with our, with the legitimate teachable onboarding ambassador to help you get your course set up. You can, you know, have your content loaded in, get your course styled up, get your own custom domain names set up with a custom onboarding session, one-on-one -on -one tailored just for you, also included inside this offer. So there's no reason, literally no reason to not be successful. So all of this material is completely self-paced. It fits into your schedule, even if you're busy. The only thing I need from you guys, and we talked about this, is do the work. Watch the video, take action, and you will get results. You're getting the exact software that I have used and hundreds of teachable instructors have used to grow their course business. You get all of this training, all of this training completely for free just by going to teachable.com slash jesse and upgrading. So all of this stuff is included in the Teachable Professional Plan at $99 a month, all these recordings and training and bonuses. But if you're just getting started out, we're, we're still making all of the training available even by upgrading to the basic plan at $39 a month. You will still get all the bonuses except the concierge onboarding, even at the basic plan level at only $39 per month. The basic plan has everything the professional plan has, the courses and students, customizable look and feel, the custom domain. What the basic plan does not have is it has a 5% transaction fee as opposed to no transaction fee. And on the basic plan, you get paid out once a month versus you know daily payouts. Those are the big differences. There's some smaller differences in basic and pro, and I can talk about that. But if you're just thinking about getting started and you want to get all this training, you can always start at the basic plan at $39 a month and then end up upgrading. So here's what you do next, right? Go to teachable.com slash Jesse. And when you do that, you know, you'll be able to choose basic or professional, buy the training, and you'll get all of your bonuses right away. This is, you know, a hunt like like anything we ever sold is a hundred percent money back guarantee. You have 30 days to go through everything, set up your school, download everything. And if by then you decide it's not right for you, simple. Shoot me an email and we'll give you a full refund. No questions asked. It's a hundred percent risk free. In fact, we're so confident that if you end up doing this and you realize it's not for you when you get a refund, we'll still let you keep the downloads and bonuses and stuff. Cause you know, you took a chance on us. Like that's all that really, that we're really going for is like, take a chance and decide that, you know, the, like you, this is something you want to do. And now for people live on the call, so guys watching a replay, this does not apply to you, but if you're live on the call right now, Here's a special, here's a little bit extra to thank you for coming live. If you end up upgrading live and you know, we're probably going to be on for Q and A for about 10 minutes after, if you end up upgrading live, we're also throwing in eight weeks of live group coaching calls on Friday afternoons that happen for eight weeks where you can just talk to, you can just talk to someone from teachable as well as all the other people in the coaching call. And it's almost like a private mastermind group. You can talk about your course, your plans for, you know, how you're going to launch your course, the technology, whatever issues or concerns you might have, you can get solved in this group setting. But this, this bonus, the eight weeks of live group coaching calls, it's available on basic and professional. So at 39 or 99, but it's only, only available while you're live on the call. So here's what I want you to do. If you end up upgrading live on the call from teachable.com slash Jesse, 
type it into chat and let us know that you've upgraded because that is the only way we're going to know that you ended up upgrading live. Um, so uh, after you upgrade, type it into chat saying, hey, Encore, I've upgraded. And again, the chat is underneath the video on the bookbusinessbrandsummit.com page. In the chat, enter it in. Let us know when you've upgraded so we can make sure you get you know all your bonuses, including your bonus for upgrading live on the call today. But that's what you got to do. Teachable.com slash Jesse. Choose which plan. Type it into chat saying, you know, upgraded. And it's only, only available till the end of this, till the end of, you know, this Q and A. Um, with that said, Jesse, are you, are you ready to start doing some Q and A? Yeah, let's do that. And I just want to first say, you know, thank you so much for coming on and giving us this presentation after, you know, just one short hour, you've covered enough that, uh, I know people have written me after previous presentations that I went back and watched that three yeah. times and took seven pages of notes. Like this is definitely one of those situations where you cover so it's been much blast. great information. It's been a blast being here. Really, really enjoyed myself. And I not as almost as much as I'm enjoying the picture behind you, by the way. <laughs> he just watches over yeah. me yeah. While, I'm, uh, while I'm doing live broadcast. <laughs> and uh, thanks for that really generous offer as well. I mean, yeah, for anybody out there that's thinking about doing online courses that's excited by what Encore has presented and what Teachable has put together. We really you know, went behind the scenes here for a couple of weeks to outline something that's gonna give you the best potential um, to get your information and training out there and start making money with it. So definitely encourage you, whether or not you're on the chat now, go to teachable.com slash Jesse and you'll see the full page full of information and you can register and access those bonuses while we're still live on the call. Sweet. And uh, yeah, well, so I guess it's three oh six, guys. We'll probably be live on the call till three fifteen. So you have nine minutes to bring in your questions, and you know, until the the live bonuses go away. Awesome. We do have uh, a few questions that are coming in here. One from Kim says, "I've been teaching university and college for um, for over ten years, and I want to teach online courses." Is you know, wondering how to go from that more academic environment into something actionable and practical that can be used in non-academic environments for online yeah. courses. So that's super valid, Kim. Um, it's a very, very good question. And my advice to Kim is here's what you're going to have to focus on. And here's what's very different of what you've been doing so far. The good thing is by virtue of being an academic in academia, you're probably stronger on like, you know, pedagogical theory and the science of learning much more than people learning online. But what you're going to have to work much harder at is building an audience online. Because really, nothing about academia, nothing about being a professor teaches you how to do that. So I would really double my efforts on building that email list of people and then being able to you know, sell value to them. I don't actually worry about her ability to build a great course. It's more the marketing and building that list of people in there. Um, the only change between these kinds of courses and academic courses is having one very specific outcome, one very specific transformation that every course you put up online distills to. Like my Philosophy 101 course, for instance, did not have one outcome. But when you're selling an online course, you need to have one very specific transformation. So you focus on the transformation, focus on building your audience. You know, I have no doubt that you will be successful. Awesome. Uh, and Angel Angel Stewart has a question. Says, I just published a book and haven't built an email list. Is it hard to build an email list? And I know we touched on a, a number of ways to start that process, but maybe you have any words of uh, of encouragement for Angel there, Ankur? Yeah, Angel, it's like I forget what what was that. It takes. I mean, it's incredibly easy to learn and get started. It takes a lifetime to master, right? It's something like that where. Getting started is so simple. Like you can probably get you know your first hundred people in the first week. Whatever it is, like the difficulty level is almost irrelevant because you want to do that. Like you, like you. This is something. The day you start building an email list, like the next day you'll be like, wow, I'm so happy I started yesterday. Like it doesn't matter how hard you think it is. Just start doing it. Like having you know whether it's whether it's getting whether I don't know like. My, the first person on my email list was my mom. It doesn't matter. Like that's still one person. Find someone around you, get them on your email list, and then keep going. Even if you start with your own personal network, it doesn't matter if it's hard or not. And for the record, I think it's pretty easy to get started. 
It's just something that has to be done if you want to build any kind of business online. I'll just echo that uh, sentiment while you're, if you're checking out. Oh, look, John is uh, upgraded and in. Welcome, John. Awesome, John. Andrew and, um, will confirm and get you your bonuses shortly. Yeah, awesome. And I just want to uh, underscore what you said there, Encore, for um, for Kim and Angel and everybody else that's listening. You know, however you start, whether it's one, five people, ten people, it really is an ongoing practice, and it becomes even more fun as that audience expands and you find different ways to engage with them and add value. It's an ongoing process. It's not something where you only have three months to build your list and then that's it. Yep. Um, and you get better over time with it. So let's see, all of a sudden the chat's lighting up here. Yep, so a question from Chandy, Chandy, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but her question is like, is this like Udemy where people will search for a course and find mine, or will they only know the course because of my own email list and marketing efforts? Um, so here's how it works, right? It is not like Udemy. Udemy is a marketplace where they market your course for you. Here it is largely a result of your own email list and your own marketing efforts. And the reason this is important is because on Udemy, when you work to get someone onto your online course, the same person is then cross sold into your competitors' online courses. So you know we actually started off as Udemy teachers. So if I bring someone to my you know uh, iPhone programming course on Udemy, Udemy will then give them a coupon to someone else's iPhone programming course, and I never actually get their email address. With us, it's completely different. It's just your it's your website. You own their email address. In fact, you plug in you know, your payment gateways and get 100% of every sale on the professional plan, while with Udemy, they only give you 50%. It's a lot of structural differences between how we do it and how Udemy does it. Like we give it, it's your brand, your domain name. With them, it's a centralized marketplace where they control everything. So that's kind of the difference. Um, that's kind of the difference in you know, how we work. If you have any more specific questions, I'm happy to get into it. People are uh, <laughs> writing me on all sorts of platforms right now. And um, let's just scroll back through and see anything else that we may have missed earlier on. Oh, good. Drea says, I'm really excited to receive this information. Was not aware of Teachable. Now can't wait to get started. Um, and I know, That's Bill, awesome. you had some enthusiasm. Bill, if you're still with us, you've got a couple minutes left to ask yeah. a question while Ankur is live on the line. He said he has used a lot of the strategies that you've mentioned for his books and is now getting all sorts of ideas on how awesome. to apply them to online course. Awesome. Uh, I saw a question earlier from Kim. Oh, it's pronounced Cha as in Charlie. Got it. Um, there's a question from Kim saying, Teachable sounds amazing, but it will take me a while to develop my courses to be able to take you up on your offer. I have nothing developed yet. What do you think? Kim, you have two options. It's really up to whether you want the training now or not. If you want the training now, I would say you can always upgrade now, get the training, and maybe downgrade until you work on your course. If you don't need the training now, and it's just a case of getting your own work done, just come back whenever you're ready. Like, you know, we don't have, you won't get this offer, but at the same time, it's gonna take you a long period of time. Just come back to Teachable whenever you're ready. It's just a question of do you want the training now or is the training not important? Because the software is the same price whenever you come in. Now it's just like you're getting training for free. Definitely, and uh, and I know that you have a busy schedule as well, Encore, so we won't wanna keep you here too long, but it looks like we might have one more question uh, from Amy saying, is there a minimum length of time you have to stay signed up for Teachable? Can you cancel after a few months, for example? Amy, so we don't believe in any of that. Like you can cancel your account at any time. You can move between plans at any time. Even if like, say you, you know, get a course going, you get a few students, but then you realize you don't want to do courses at all. Even then you can, we actually have a plan that you can downgrade to that's entirely free just to put your school in maintenance mode. So your old students still get lifetime access without you continually having to do it. Um, Kim saying, do I get the training with a basic plan, just not eight weeks? Kim, if you upgrade live, that is while we're still on, so probably for another couple of minutes, you get the eight weeks of coaching and the training on the basic plan. The only difference between basic and professional is the one-on-one -on -one onboarding. The one-on-one -on -one onboarding is only professional. Eight weeks training applies to everyone that upgrades live and 
upgrades live and then types in a chat after they've upgraded. So we have like an acknowledgement that you upgraded live. You get it all there. Um, and yes, it is better to have an email list, but we do have trainings on how do you build a mailing list. But I would say a mailing list is non-negotiable with, you know, like I think you absolutely should build a mailing list. Though, because of because on Teachable you get email addresses, if you have a free course on Teachable, that becomes your mailing list for a lot of people because you collect email addresses. Amy is uh, on board and upgraded and I have a feeling that Kim's over there typing while we still have this line open to get uh, upgraded as well. Yep. Bill saying thank you very much, Encore. Um, great this job. Is a, this is a blast. Um, I also have another slide I forgot to share, Jesse. Just for people, remember I said I wanted people to take notes. If anyone actually took notes, guys, check out this slide I'm about to share. Hold on a second. My Google has gotten weird. But all right, so if you have notes, guys, and if you post a picture of your notes on Twitter and tag le underscore Jesse Krieger and Teachable HQ, we'll send you a free gift. I mean, it's nowhere near as nice as you know any of the trainings or the premium stuff. But there's a small little token we have as a thank you for coming here, hanging out, and you know it's been cool. It's been super super cool to do this. So if you post a picture of your notes on Twitter, tag those two handles le Jesse Krieger and Teachable HQ at the end of the webinar we will send you a small token of our appreciation. So that'll be, you know, just for people that actually ended up taking notes, it'll be really, really cool. And again, you know, let me, that that was, yeah. Whether you end up, you know, buying the offer or not, I'm just really, really happy you came, hung out with us. If you have any follow-up questions, you know, the line is always open. Twitter is a very easy way to get in touch with us. But whether you buy this offer or not, I think what's really important is, you know, if more writers, more bloggers, more creators decided to create online courses. Like I think there's enough information even in the free hour that I want I want to light a fire. I want you guys to be excited. I want you to be stoked. Go back and actually start working on this. Try working and seeing if you can get your sales page set up. If you can actually get people to buy your course before you even build it. And just use this workshop, use this hour, hour 15 of your life as motivation, as a spark to start something great. Um, just see oh, a question for The longer we keep this line open, the more people are jumping on. Yeah. Ode to Joy, just upgraded. Okay. That's and awesome. Mary is writing me privately to uh, to coordinate since she had a, uh, an issue with her credit card. Shandi looks like she had a question, and I think it's now been addressed. Yep, um, just to reiterate what Jesse already said, Shandi. Um, you are not locked in. If you pay $99 a month, you you can cancel at any time. At the same time, just so we're clear, you will get rebuild, but you can cancel at any point in time. Like the rebuilding is automatic. You get can but you can cancel at any point in time. Also, everyone, for the first month, for the first month, if you cancel and you feel like this is not for you and you know something was off, we also have a no questions asked money back. So say you pay $99 today and in two weeks you think it's not for you, you can send us an email and you know not only do you cancel, you also get your money back. Sweet. So guys, I'll I mean if there's you know a couple of last questions, I'll I'll hang out for that. Otherwise, you know, otherwise it's been it's been a blast, Jesse. Should we wait and see if there's maybe one last question? TikTok, everybody, if you've yeah. got one last question, we've still got Encore live on the line here. And um, you know, I just appreciate all of you guys showing up. I know it's morning on Saturday. You guys are coming out in force, ready to learn and take action, which totally appreciate. And uh, and appreciate you, Encore, and Teachable. Yeah, man, this has been, for, this has been, what you guys been a doing. blast. Well, I right. think that might be a good place yeah. to, uh, to wrap up. And uh, we'll let you get back to your day. And of course, we'll be in touch. And uh, thanks, everybody, for showing up on this presentation on the book business and brand building summit Ankur, you want to take us home with a final goodbye absolutely jesse it's been it's been a blast everyone as i said before the most important thing here guys is i want you all to set a date work backwards and get it done and when you do get it done i can't wait to hear from you and know that you've watched this and taken some action but until then guys have a good one see you all later if you have any questions at all don't hesitate to get in touch with us on twitter take care everyone
All right, and Kim's upgrading, so right. I'm just going to leave that line open for another 30 seconds. We'll say that that still counts, Kim. All right, Kim, that counts. Awesome. Take care, Jesse. All right, see everybody.